Hello everyone, welcome back to the mobile arena. Today we are going to review another app, Scanner Pro. And this application is only on iOS and it is out for the iPhone and the iPad. Start by either taking a photo or taking an image from your photos section. For the sake of this review, I'm just going to take it from here. I have some photos that I pre-shot. Once you're at this page, it allows you to either move the borders yourself, like so, so I can make it even smaller, or I can just go with the setting that they already have, and most of the time that is the most wise decision, because it is able to detect the borders. After we do that, we can go in here, and that is when you can choose the size that you want. You can also rotate the photo like so, and lastly, you can also make it so that if you want it to be color and it detects for you if there's a lot of color for the document or if you want it to be very strong contrast black and white um, the key to this is that it makes it so that you can read text very easily that is the function for that and the last one is uh, softer black and white so this might be for uh, documents where you have both photos and you have writing and such you can also deal with the brightness uh, you can see I made it very bright there, or very dark. We have contrast as well. Uh, like so. Uh, because of how this application works, it makes it so that you can use less settings, and you can quickly uh, get to what you're trying to do. And after that, you can finally click Save. And it will be saved into the scan, like here. Uh, you can edit by changing the title of the scan and you can also name the document like so and at that point no thanks at that point you'll have the document here so you have a choice to either add to this say if you're making a PDF um, or having you have a series of slides or a series of documents that you want to scan you can have it in one folder or you can create a new folder right here so if I want to do that, or I can go in here and add a new one. Here you can also choose to download or to email it or to send it somewhere, but I'm just going to delete it right now. Right, now we're greeted with the screen again. This is when you don't have anything. Uh, some pros and cons about this application. For one thing, it is very versatile. It is able to uh, take the photos and take the scans, even though you're not very accurate. So for example, in this one, um, it's able to sense, using uh, technology and contrast in the code, it is able to sense what you're trying to scan uh, using the contrast. So even if it is not very accurate, I can get a very accurate um, photo after. Even if I'm very sloppy with taking the photo, originally I can get a good scan after, which is important. Um, so that is a very good point that it has. Uh, another thing is that it is very useful if you're if uh, you're trying to take a photo of something that is on a screen. So I'm going to use this example which my students have drawn, and as you can see in this photo, it is a photo of a slide on the screen, and just by doing that, it's able to detect that I'm use I'm taking a slide and after it will stretch it so that we have the right dimensions whereas here you can see that is a bit skewed but using the code it's able to correct itself and we also have the settings that we have before so by doing that I think it is very advantageous when you're trying to take photos in a hurry um, of course one of the weaknesses that not only this application has but all scanning applications have is that if there is low contrast like this one, it will most likely not be able to detect it. As you can see here, it doesn't really find the borders that you're trying to have. Even uh, if I use this one, it doesn't really find it. And this is actually a very good time for me to show what to do if it can't find it. And that is by moving the borders around like so. So you can make it so that it is closer to what you're actually trying to scan and after moving it it will have 
the photo back cropped that you want. You can, and as you can see, this is black and white, so it is also perfect to turn on the high resolution, uh, high contrast. In which case, the thing that you're trying to take, if it has a lot of writing, it becomes very clear, and that is what we want. So that is what these, this function is for. The color one is for when you're taking uh, maybe like a magazine of some sort, or what I had here earlier, bath talk. Here it knows that there is both color and there's also writing, so it knows to go to that function, the color function. So here you can see that the text is still very clear, but you're able to have all the color that you want as well. Um, other than the weakness I said earlier because of the black, the white background and the white paper, um, overall this application is very useful for both scanning uh, either fo uh, photos, magazines, or uh, notes. Uh, this is sheet music or maybe PowerPoint slides that are projected onto the screen. You can use it for that purpose. Um, very useful app. Uh, that's pretty much all I can review for this application for now. It is very useful. I know uh, one last thing I want to say before I sign off here is that I know that there are a lot of apps out here, and one of the reasons why this application is so successful um, is because of the interface is very intuitive and very easy to use. Um, even though other applications use the same technology and it has the same functions, because of how this application is designed, it makes it very easy for you to um, scan whatever you want to scan.